In today's solo video, I survived in an underwater base for 24 hours. We will raid PvP and becoming very rich solo. Make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. Also, subscribe to not miss any future videos. We're trying to reach 50,000 by the end of the year. Last video's mythical giveaway winner is shown now, and today we're going to show another one, which is a cosmic recycled rig. To win this, make sure that you've liked, subscribed, and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. Alright boys, we're back on. Okay, so apparently I am not naked. Oh my god, I have raiding gear. Bro, what? What happened? Okay, so I think I played here and I forgot and the server did not wipe yet. I thought it wiped, but damn, I have a lot of gear. Uh, so I guess I just have to build a base or take over somewhere. I have literally no base parts on me. Yeah, I think the last time I survived on the server was when I had the tower. Damn, bro, the server didn't wipe yet. There's a fire truck right there. I'm not gonna shoot. If I die, I die, lose all of this. I would genuinely cry. My server has no vault. None of that. So I gotta, I gotta just find a base that's raided and it has empty storage. That's what I gotta do, man, or else I'm screwed. Well, anyway, I was kind of hoping to get a fresh start, but since we have this, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to lose it, you know. But today I do have a plan. I want to build an underwater base and survive in it for 24 hours. Looks like our loot already, ha we already have loot, so I just need to put it temporarily somewhere. Yeah, I think this place might be, this base might be okay. Yeah, there's a dude right there. I think, I, I'm gonna try to kill him. Yeah, let's just take him down before he gets close. I'm not gonna go for the loot though. Yeah, he's in a trio, so that's a bit of a, it's a bit of a problem. Alright, let's get in here. Please, there's crates. Yes, there is. Perfect, so let's put all the raiding gear in here. Let's hope nobody runs up into this base and just, you know, takes everything. I could just make a plate. Got a blowtorch. Got a lot of raiding gear, man. That's incredible. You've got a rangefinder. But, obviously, until I build myself a new base, I can't really move this loot, you know? I'm gonna put the Elise back in here, so... I'm gonna make a bed, actually, with the clothes. Screw it. So, at least... It's fine, I'll just get another outfit later on. Let's just suicide so we get to full HP. And then we'll home. Yeah, there's some shots going on, Heartbreaker. This guy, try to go kill somebody. I could actually try to make a... Oh, I can't even get out. Okay, that's a very big problem. I'm gonna have to salvage the helmet. Screw, we'll get another Spec Ops helmet. It's probably triggered so many of you guys, but... I think having my way to get out is more important. I'm gonna salvage Night Vision, so... I guess I could have salvaged the Dragon Fang, because I have two of them. But... It's whatever. So this server is ten times loot, so it's not gonna be that hard to get loot. But my challenge is I want to survive in a base for 24 hours without getting raided. And I do want to make sentries. I, w I have an idea where I want to build it. I do think I'm going to build it around Clearwater. Between Clearwater and Scorpion 7 over there. Not a lot of people go there. And I think I'm going to make sentries at the very top. But yeah, I do have a plan for this. I'm going to check out what loot the guy that I killed had. Yeah, the loot pile is still here. And looks like Spec Ops rocks. Okay, bro, he has... Oh, I'm dead. Somebody's raiding with a Dragon Fang, so... Yeah, I'm dead, uh... Probably camping the loot out. Alright, well, I spawned here, so I'm gonna kill some zombies. Hopefully get an axe or something, and uh, we'll start working on the underwater base. And then whenever I have loot, I'll just home, get the raiding gear, and transport it to the new base. It's really the plan that I have. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for Unturned? Then look no further, because I got the best option for you, which is Pine Hosting. Pine hosting is very easy to learn, the navigation is super user friendly and not hard at all to master. The servers all have high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own network a while ago, I had no clue how to do anything, but after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Arc and also Minecraft. A game changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Also, if you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry, because Pine hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LGG for 30% off, and let's get straight back into the action. Alright, so I found a base with a wooden door. I'm just trying to find myself somewhere to maybe um, place a, a bed so that I'm close to where I want to build. Even though if I don't claim it. But this seems like, what, it's supposed to be a hotel. It's kind of funny that people build these on survival servers. Alright, so we're back into our main base, actually, where the raiding gear is. Yeah, it's all still here. So I'm, I still need to get myself a, a diving tank, actually. Gotta get myself one so that we can make an oxygenator. So until then, I probably won't start building the underwater base yet. Gonna check if these people are still around here. So I'm gonna salvage this plate, make it into another plate, and we're gonna just seal this off. So people cannot accidentally get in, you know? 
They could break them. They could they could literally just punch them out, but hopefully they won't. So we gotta try to build this as quickly as possible. I'm gonna try to loot Heli really quickly. So maybe we'll get ourselves a gun and some military clothes. All right, there's a heartbreaker. Beautiful. Some military clothes. Let's get full melee. Got a lot of metal, so that's great. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna try to get maybe some kills. Actually, very soon, so. There's a few more zombies. I was hoping for a mega zombie, to be honest, but that's not the case. There's not a lot of people on the server, so... We could try to build as quickly as possible, because later on, the server gets, like, up to, like, up to 60 players, which is, you know, it's crazy. And they probably won't even leave me alone to build. So I'm probably gonna walk all the way over there back, and I'm gonna try to start building soon. Alright, so we're over at where I want to start building. Got myself uh, a lot of birch foundations. Later on, I'll try to upgrade them into metal, though. Obviously, birch is just its way too weak. We still need to get ourselves a diving tank so that we don't drown the whole time. But I do want to build from here all the way to the top. And at the top, we'll put sentries. So I'll make myself like a room. And I do have a base idea. Like a base plan. I do think I have a pretty cool uh, idea. Pretty cool design that I don't think I've ever seen before. Especially for an underwater base. Which, yeah, if you guys do like underwater bases, let me know what you guys think. I think that it'll be a pretty good idea. Not a lot of people will actually try to raid underwater bases. Because most of the time you can only raid with explosives. You can't really raid with dragon fangs. Unless you build plates. So if we do a claim flag, it'll be even more helpful. So on the server, there's also a decay system. Which we need to have ourselves a running generator. All the base will decay. Yeah, I'm just gonna drown. Hold on, let's just get all the way to the top. And this is gonna be the problem until we get the diving tank, man. So I'll probably just... Keep farming clear water until I get a diving tank. Let's get ourselves another bed, so let's claim this. And then for the raiding loot that we have on the other base, I'll just walk back. And then we'll home to this bed. And we wouldn't be risking anything. But first, I gotta finish this base. I gotta make it a bit larger. I gotta make myself a diving tank with an oxygen racer. So, still got a lot of stuff to do, man. So the one by one is technically finished, got myself some storage as well. Later on we'll continue to upgrade it, make it larger, make it more floors. And I just drowned. This is gonna happen a lot until I get a diving tank. I don't really care if I die though, like who cares about KD or whatever. I just wanna get myself a good 24 hours, a base that lasts for 24 hours without getting completely annihilated by a 20 man team or something like that. So now let's hope we don't take hours until we get ourselves the diving tank. We could search this campground and also clear water. Come on, oh, both of these can spawn diving tanks. Let's take down the mega zombie. He's gonna drop a lot of loot. On these servers, he's gonna drop like five detonators. 20 dragon fangs. Oh no, he dropped. Alright, he dropped two dettos, which is good. We got an extra horde. Some dragon fang ammo. Sticky. Yeah, this server is like this, man. When there's gonna be more people on, it's gonna be so chaos. I joined early to get myself a pretty good head start without having to worry that I'm gonna die 20 times. And we are back in our lovely little base. So on this server, I do notice that a lot of people do actually live in sky bases. Perhaps sometime in the future, I'll do my own sky base and do that as a video. Or I'll survive in a sky base for 24 hours. Obviously, probably it'll get raided easier than if I build an underwater base. Because everyone searches for sky bases on the server. Nobody searches for underwater bases. That's why we're living in underwater, man. It's kind of genius. I gotta be careful that I'm not gonna drown, but... Again, I don't care if I do. As long as I have a claimed bed. Alright, now it's round two again to try to get ourselves a diving tank. There's a dude there. Go die. There we go, he's dead. Alright, let's go check out the loot he had. I'm really hoping this is not the trio. He seemed geared. Uh, I think he killed a, a bunch of zombies. Yeah, some of the loot from the mega zombie is still here by the looks of it. Yep, he has... Oh, damn. Elise back Yuri. So much ammo. Jesus. All right, let's take this loot and let's get out of here. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he's dead. Oh, there's one more. Bro, I don't know where I'm getting shot from. Oh, I'm dead, man. I was gonna try to make it to that other base that I took over and I was gonna just take the loot and move it, but apparently not. They're not even together. I think they're against each other, but... The dude I killed came back, so he has a base nearby. He lives close to the heli crash, so that could be an issue. I saw this dude told me to TP to him, so I did, and apparently he's just here. He saw me die, he saw me kill and die. 
Uh, I have no gun. I'm gonna try to see if I have any guns in my underwater base, but nope, we have no guns. Dude, we have raiding gear, but we have no single PvP gun. I could have taken a nade, but it's whatever. I don't know, I'm gonna see what this guy does. Maybe he manages to kill them, then he'll probably kill me. I really don't know. He has a heartbreaker and everything. I am so confused right now. They probably saw us. Oh, he's baiting them, bro. Yeah, he's actually baiting them. He's saying he has no guns, bro. That's funny. Yeah, they're pushing. Bro, this could work. I'm just gonna hide like this. Oh, he killed one. Oh, he killed two. Oh, I got the saber. Hit him. Oh, he's dead. Bro, there's no way. There's no way this plan worked. All right, let's check out what they had. Oh, yeah, heartbreaker. Blowtorch. Bunch of ammo. Grenades. Oh, bro, they're back. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead, bro. Yeah, they live nearby. It's a pretty big group. I think they're teaming and they're not even in the same group, so... It's whatever. I'll just try to go for the raiding gear later. These guys live nearby. They built a base that's covering all of the golf course, I think. Or a sky base or something, I don't know. It's no problem, though. I'll just keep trying to get myself a diving tank so we can build an oxygenator. It's currently my, my first goal to do. Yeah, here, Viper Shots. I think that's over at Seattle. Yeah, there is no guns around. Yep, I got a Peacemaker, so... Hey, better than nothing. I think we're gonna go to Scorpion as well soon. Maybe we get ourselves a Shadow Stalker. We got, we got two Ron, another Peacemaker. Lovely. We got double Peacemaker. Oh, there we go. We got a Diving Tank, finally. All right. Yeah, it didn't take us that long. Thought it was gonna take us hours to get it, but... Nah, man, we got it quickly, quite quickly. Alright, so for that we need a blowtorch and a bunch of medicine. Now, I do have a blowtorch in that base that I built. I mean, the base that I took over, no blowtorch in here. So I still need to go to the golf course. Hopefully that three-man team, they're not gonna be uh, looking towards me, man. Hopefully everything is still in there. I just need a blowtorch. So let's go back once again. Right, so I did actually make it. Everything is still perfectly untouched. I gotta make this into a plate again because it's decaying because there's no generator in here. But it seems like, yeah, everything is uh, still here. Perfect. Nothing was touched. Let's take that blowtorch. I don't have a backpack, so this may be a bit of an issue. I'm gonna take the dragon fang, obviously. I'm not gonna be able to take everything. I, I don't have a bag. Let's take all of the raw, the grenades. There's a lot of shots going on outside. Probably they killed a mega, but I'm not gonna bother. Let's take that Deto. Let's fix up our inventory a little bit. Let's take the raw. I'm gonna have to leave some stuff and we'll just come back another time. We've gotta keep a dragon fang, some of the raw. Some of the grenades, but we are back. We moved the loot, thankfully. So now all I gotta do is make myself a an oxygenator. We have everything to make one. I may need to get some metal, but shouldn't be a problem anyway. Yeah, we need a bunch of sheets and a bunch of bars. And our, all of our storage is full, so I'm gonna have to put this wardrobe somewhere. I really don't know where. We can just move it into like that. Yeah, let's put that there. Well, this one by one is stacked. If someone raids me right now... They will profit so much. Yeah, I gotta go get metal. I don't have enough. So I'm gonna go to the military tunnel next to Scorpion. And hopefully there's nobody there. Or if there is, we'll kill him. But hopefully we'll come back with metal. I'm back. I should have gotten everything. I really hope. Yep. We got ourselves an oxy. So now we no longer drown 10 million times. There we go. We're safe. And now we can start thinking of expanding base, making it larger. We can also start making lockers too. So let's do that. There we go. We got ourselves a locker. I'll uh, place this right there. We can start escaping from the roof now. I do want to make a hatch. And that will be our way to get out. We won't use doors. We'll just use hatches. Don't even need to do ladders. Looks very cool, man. That's the thing about underwater bases. They do look cool. But they're a bit hard to make sometimes. Especially if you don't get a diving tank e instantly. Alright, we got up. Now we place the roof. And we're out. So now I think I'm gonna farm some wood. Or just look around, farm a little bit more items that we may need. Like guns, whatever. Maybe I could try to find myself some PvP. More people are starting to join. So we gotta be more careful, obviously. But it shouldn't be a problem, man. Nobody really goes here where I am. There's a dude here. I came here for a chainsaw. And there's some... Yeah, he's right here. There we go. He's dead. Oh, he had a chainsaw. Perfect. Yeah, I came here for one. My guy had one, thank God. So now I can start chopping down trees quickly. No rush. And I don't have to hit it a billion times for it to break down. Alright, it's time to start expanding... Our lovely little underwater base. Over here we'll do a hole. And these will be two loot rooms. One loot room on the side, the other loot room on the other side. It'll look very cool. <laughs> I 
Alright, so I got myself. I should have everything for a sentry. Yep, there we go. Hostile sentry that's going straight on the roof. Problem is, I don't know what gun I'm gonna put in it, actually. So let's put this right over there. If people are assuming pause, they're just gonna die and I'm gonna get their loot. And even if they don't die, I would know that there are people around, you know? I think I'm gonna have to put a peacemaker on it, man. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have to put a peacemaker. At least it's a- it could be anything for now, I don't care. Just for me to know that there are people swimming around. And we can get ourselves some easy loot that way, man. Like, if they're swimming, they can't just jump away. They can only swim away and, you know, swimming can easily kill you. Alright, so I'm gonna make myself some more lockers. I should have more than enough. Yeah, let's salvage this into a sheet. Got ourselves another locker. I'm starting to make the boat loot rooms. I'm gonna focus on doing one loot room for now. And then we'll do some gates and some garage. It'll look very cool. The garage will go on top of the hatch too. So if the hatch is open and people are trying to counter or raid me or something, it'll be good. It's kind of a smart idea. But uh, yeah, base is starting to look pretty good. We still have a lot more to do. I still have to make a few more floors. So I gotta make the second blue room, all the gates as well. Starting to look quite nice, man. I'm starting to like it. Obviously, at some point, we'll try to do some base raids today. So I don't know when. And I did see some raids. First of all, that hotel that I saw earlier. There's a room that is completely locked with metal door and everything. So maybe there's somebody living in there. We'll check it out. We do have Dragon Fang, a lot of ammo. So it's not really a problem to get raiding gear. But let's continue farming a little bit more. I'm gonna try to get probably a little bit more wood. There's dudes there. Killed one. Killed them both. Uh, yeah, he had bows, some clothes. Nothing that good. Yeah, poor guys don't have anything. They had a headlamp. We'll salvage all of their clothes, make bandages. That's always nice to have. We we'll salvage all of their stuff for metal, but it's whatever, man. So we got the garages as well. This is exactly what I wanted. The base is almost done. It's looking pretty cool, man. I'm starting to like this as a solo base. I love it, bro. There, and basically over here is to get outside. We'll get on the top. Yeah, basically, like, if people are literally on the beaches, we could just kill them easily from here, man. You know, it could be a very uh, good idea. Obviously, people can raid from here, but it's just gonna be honeycomb at the very top. Loot will be at the very bottom. People won't expect that, probably. Put, like, two sentries at the top of that roof. That would be incredible. Alright boys, it's time to start raiding. I'm gonna chop down myself some trees so that whatever we raid, we rebuild. So we get rid of counters. We're gonna start off with the smallest base I found yet, which is this hotel. I don't know if there's gonna be anything good in it. I door this door, but the thing is, there's this floor over here, which is basically metal. So there may be stuff right over here. What we have to do is just raid in this roof. And we'll be through and I'll just hopefully get something man from it so what we gotta do is just make ourselves another roof let's put that there and it's empty all right there's another crate a billion 20 gauge and four monster keys okay this was the best base trade that i've ever done man what is this bro uh really all right let's get out of here i think i'm gonna home for the dragon thing and i'll look around for some more raids to do all right so i actually did find this other raid. We got ourselves some logs for counters. Still got the dragon fang on us. So oh, the server has no vault, so it may be a problem. Because if we die, we could lose raiding gear. There's no vault. Just go through. Yep, we're through. And a bunch of crates. Uh, let's just do a wall behind us. And it's blocked. Never mind. Other oh, stuff. Spec Ops, uh, Viper, and Heartbreaker. Oh, release pack. Zoom back. Oh, that's good. Vipers. Another Heartbreaker. Bro, I, I gotta seal this off though, but it's whatever, man. I just gotta be prepared. A bunch of meds, some medicine, nothing. Viper, Heartbreaker, Night Vision. Oh, PDW, Shadow, and an Elise pack. Bro, okay. You know what? This raid is better than the other one. We didn't profit when it comes to raiding gear, but we did get ourselves some good stuff, man. We got ourselves some PvP guns, Elise packs, Night Vision. It's beautiful to have, man. Some metal. The PDW is really good. Got ourselves some barrels, some attachments, some ranger ammo. Uh, we could leave these and come back for them. Especially the metal, I'll take the metal though. It was always nice to have. Alright, second raid better than first. That's how I want it to be. The previous raid worse than the raid that I'm doing now. 
Uh, we think we're gonna have to make more storage, man. Uh, this locker is still empty, so that's good. Let's put that one over there. We got an SMG finally, so, so now we can PvP underwater if there are people around. Because uh, before all I had were peacemakers, and they're, you know, nothing really that good. Alright, not too bad. Two raids down. I don't know how many left to go, but obviously we'll be doing more. Right, so if you guys look at this, basically when the hatch is literally not even there, you could use the gate as a hatch. It's such a cool concept meant to have i love it but yeah we'll go back we'll get everything that we left and um probably look for more raids all right so i found this it's fake raided there's a room in here that it's not fully raided so i don't know if there's gonna be anything in there but we just have to give it a look yes we're true yep i knew it bro i knew it bro there's so much in here all right we gotta seal off behind us really quickly actually we'll put it there bro look how many there is there's some pine ones dragon fang Oh, uh, let's go. We found a good raid. We found a raid that we could profit from it. There's rocket. If there's dragon fangs in pine wardrobes, there's probably gonna be God knows what's inside the metal ones, man. I really hope we get profit from it. And broken. Yep. Grenades raw. We gotta zoom back. Let's destroy the claimed beds. Bro, this is a duo's trio's base. Jesus. All right. We can make charges from this. That's actually probably what I should have made for this. Though it's gonna blow up everywhere, but doesn't matter. I got a home and I gotta get more. I don't think I have enough to finish all of these, man. Gonna make some charges, probably. Alright, we gotta raid another one. Let's just raid this one really quickly. I do have enough for one more. And yeah, this one's empty. Let's reload. Oh, man. Please be enough. Yep, we got Grizzly's Rangefinder. That's an easy sentry. And grenades. Alright. Let's drop these. We don't need them. Yeah, I'm gonna home and I'm gonna get more raiding gear because I do not have enough. But yeah, man, this is gonna be a great raid. There's people shooting moss turkeys in the farm. Right next to one of the farms too, so not that far from our base. These grizzlies are insane, so we could just get on top of our water base and just snipe. Let's take both of them, obviously. Let's take the nades. Let's charge each. Alright, yep, we'll home and we will come back with more raiding gear. Maybe I'll actually make myself some more C4, actually base is sealed so nobody can try to counter wait this is the wrong loot room i think i need to make more storage actually because i don't really have a lot this loot room is starting to get full let's wear ourselves this diving mask we'll see more clear and when we're underwater let's put everything in there but i'm not gonna wear it now because we're gonna leave underwater literally in a second we should have more dread dragon fang boxes yeah we got one there we'll use dragon fang for now yeah we got a lot of dragon fang ammo so it shouldn't be an issue all uh, right we are back Let's just replace that wall. And let's continue raid. Let's reload. I <laughs> already finished the box. Even though it was mostly empty anyway. Come on, man. Give me the good loot, please. Give me some juice. Give me charges, bro. Charges. Well, we got that all. Some grenades. A bunch of guns. Alright, I'll take it. I don't know which one to raid next. Let's do this one. I don't even know if I have enough ammo actually, I did bring a bunch of drums for Dragon Fang. Yeah, we're already done with another one. I don't think I have enough, bro. I have enough for this one for sure. And we got, well, we got ourselves another Dragon Fang. Alright, that's good. Let's break this one next. Broke, and looks like Dettos. Bro, we have so many Dettos from this. It's crazy. And we are out. Let's switch to the Dragon Fang that there was in here. Hopefully we have enough for this one. Yep, we did. Oh, bro. Oh, my God. Another rangefinder. Yeah, billion grenades and glow. Another rangefinder. We're gonna make so many sentries from this, man. Yeah, this is a very good raid. This is the best raid we've done yet. And it was, like, in a fake base raid. The owners pretended that the base got raided. They just kept the base completely open except for a 2 by one It's actually a one by one to be honest. Kind of smart. But I always sniff these out, man. I always realize... You're out. I got a home and I gotta get more. I got a full inventory anyway. Of some good loot. Where's the dude? What? He's back there. Hit him. Oh, he's dead. What is he doing? He had nothing, bro. He had a hawk hound. Poor guy. Some military clothes. And an industrial gauze skin. Okay. There's a dude there. Dead. Another dude there. Actually. Oh, this guy. Bro, my guy had four heartbreakers. Come on, bro. Peek. Oh, he is. There we go, he's dead. Alright, let's take every load that this guy has. So I'm currently circling around the map. 
I'm trying to find more raids. There's a few. There's a small 1x1s and 2x1s, but I'm gonna try to raid something a bit larger than a 1x1. It's starting to look uh, pretty good, man. Base has been surviving for almost half the 24 hours now, so pretty good. I did take like a 3 hour break. Base is still fine. A lot more people on the server now, though, so we gotta be... We gotta be a bit more careful. So our second loot room is also starting to get full of uh, lockers, a lot of loot in them. A lot of guns. I may organize loot later on if I don't have anything to do actually. Like I'll put all the guns at one side, all of the raiding stuff at another side. I'm gonna make myself some charges now so I should have more than enough. I'm gonna take everything that is needed for charges, I'm gonna see how many charges I can make. That would be kind of incredible. Actually, I gotta get uh, wire. I gotta go get some metal. So that's my next step. Go, go get as much metal as possible. And then we'll make it into wire. And then it's charge time. I right, got a lot of metal. Pretty good run. Now all of that will turn into bars and then into wires. Got a lot of wires. So now we take all of the glue grenades and raw that we have in all of our lockers. And we will make them into charges. I don't even know how much I can make. I think then uh, what I would need is more raw. Because I don't really have a lot of raw. We do have a few though. But I think we're gonna have like, like how much? 10 charges? Maybe a bit less. Maybe like 8 charges. Any more raw on the bottom part of the base? Yep. Three more here. Some shots are going on. Maybe I could counter that soon. But right now it's whatever. Alright, charge. Second one. Third. Fourth. Fifth. All right, we got five charges and we can make more. All I think I need is more glow. We got another sticky here. So that's another easy charge. There we go. We got a few more. All right, lovely. We could raid like a pretty decently sized base with this actually. All right, so I did actually find myself a metal base and I did get the charges so that I'm going to go raid it. I'm going to go raid it right now. Hopefully I have more than enough. There's a dude. I got to kill him and I got charges on me. Oh, wait. Bro, shut up. Bro, somebody's raiding. Wait, someone's raiding the base I want to raid. Alright, well, in that case, I'm putting the charges here. I'm gonna try to counter raid. I'm not gonna take the charges with me, because if they kill me, I would get very upset. Let's put the Deto back. I'm gonna try to counter, obviously. I don't know who it is. There's a few groups on the server now, so we just gotta be, uh, we gotta be careful. There's a dude there. Dead. Another dude there. Dead as well. I don't hear any raiding from here, man. Maybe they already finished it. I really hope not. I kind of want to counter them, bro. Oh, shot. Zubak. Yeah, they're still here then. I'm gonna take night vision off so they don't see my eyes glowing. Full military outfit here. Yeah, this was the base that I wanted to raid. Bro, the timing is insane. I wanted to raid this, literally, and they're raiding it right now. I hope they left somewhere open so I could sneak from behind them, but I probably sealed it off. There's multiple steps in there. It's more than one dude. Here, steps behind me, bro. Bro, there's some... Okay, guy blew my cover, man. I'm more scared of the guys inside. Oh, I got shot by a bow. All right, I need to get out. There's a lot of people. This raid brought a lot of people around. Yeah, they're raiding... C4. Is that Wait, what? Bro, this guy with the car was trying to tap me out from a mile away. Where is he, man? Ow, I got hit again by a bow. Bro, if I die to a bow, I'm gonna be so upset. I think he's shooting me from behind. Bro, I can't see. I can't see anything. Yeah, they're, they're still raiding. They sealed it off and they're raiding, so I, I can't do anything. I'm just gonna kill the guys that are trying to kill me. And then I'll dip. Okay, yeah, he's up there. Yeah, he's dead. I think that was the Cobra guy. Oh, there's the other dude. Yeah, that's why I couldn't see him. He's literally the same color as the ground. I hit the chainsaw. Alright, well, I lost that raid, but it's whatever. At least I didn't lose any of my charges. There's a dude there. He's dead. Let's go see what he had. He has some loot by the looks of it. Uh, raw saber. Okay. He had a gun, so I didn't kill a naked. Alright, find myself an insane metal base raid. Hope it's good. Find myself the dragon thing with me. It's gonna take a while, bro. Dragon thing. Not really anything that crazy. Oh, we're through. Bro, last bullet. Alright, there's one clean bed. There's a few lockers, so that, that's really good. I'm gonna seal off, obviously. And there's a saw and glue in here. Wow. Insane loot. Alright, so there's a blunt force inside. Let's just raid this wardrobe now. Please be enough. And oh my god. Bro, I'll take that. That's a lot of metal. Really happy with that. Metal is great. Can start upgrading base now soon, so... Alright, let's raid the, the slucker next. Let's have a little bit more ammo. Yeah, let's reload. I got a home and I gotta come back with more. Hopefully this one... Yep, even more metal, bro! Yeah, this is gonna be a metal base raid. These guys farm metal for me. 
Yeah, so I got a home and I gotta come back. But I got a full inventory of metal. Looking pretty good, man. Looking pretty nice. Uh, we're back in base. Let's depot all of this metal. Actually, I can make them into uh, wardrobes. And we'll go up, probably use charges for to finishing this raid, actually. Uh, we're back. Got some charges. Let's place one. So, let's hope we get good loot, man. Please. And they broke. What? Alright, not all of them broke. So, I got another charge, thankfully. Bro, there was nothing actually that good in them. It's like some was some glow. Yeah, they did break and bunch of raw. Let's take those. Cobra. Mos uh, some high cal. Some metal, some glow. Chainsaw, some meds. Uh, I was kind of hoping for better, bro. The previous lockers all were with full metal. And this one just, yeah, dude. Nothing crazy, honestly. Alright, no problem. Can make a sticky. I think I can make a George. All I need is just... Some wire, bro. Need a blowtorch. Alright, base trade number. I have no idea. I forgot. I think it's four. It's wood, so just one charge is enough. Yeah, and some wardrobes here. Rug. And, yeah, nothing good, man. No worth it. Bro, today's raids were like... Some of them were good, some of them were bad. Like, we didn't really... We got a mixture of both, basically. But we did get ourselves some nice raids. We got ourselves a... A metal wall, bro. So let's salvage this one. Places over here. You're almost close to the 24 hours too, so I'll probably just roam around a little bit. Base is completely untouched. Nobody went by here. So if you guys do want probably like a good spot to build your base that not a lot of people go to, I recommend building an underwater base here. The server always had around like 20 plus players. Some points it even reached 30 plus. Not a lot of people, literally nobody walked by here or swim, swam by here, man. So if you guys do build here, let me know. Let me know how long the base lasts. Me personally, it's been around like built it yesterday and today so completely okay I'll do a few more runs hopefully we'll get something good and wait for the full 24 hour cycle there's a dude up there there we go he's dead let's check out what my bro had let's see if he had any juice i mean he looted here so it probably does have something good i'm getting shot up by a s s shadow stalker night vision he didn't have anything by the looks of it yeah nothing that good all right i'll home I don't know where the sniper is, and I don't really want to find out. Yeah, I genuinely have no idea. And we are back in our lovely little base. Well, alright guys, after that, I did wait for around an hour, but nothing really happened. Base was not raided after 24 hours, so the mission was complete. It did get raided the day after, though. But I did not join after that. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more in the future, let me know. I do have one coming out soon on the same server where we actually build a sky base. And that one is quite intense. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.